So, so you know, the other thing we do is we work on self-defense. So self-defense is every kind of hold, every kind of grip. So we start here and we work our way up the sleeve. Here, here, here. Okay? Everything you can think of. One hand throws a punch. Two hands. One hand, right? Front bear hug. Guy grabs you like this. Guy grabs you like this, right? Rear bear hug. Everything from the rear. High bear hug, middle bear hug, low bear hug. Rear choke. Guy grabs you like this. Rear hair pull. Okay? Rear choke this way. We cover how to get out of this, right? We cover how to get out of this. We cover how, no, we don't. how to get out of this, okay? All right? Everything you can think of. Full Nelson, half Nelson, headlock, okay? Push, how to defend against that, okay? So, everything you can think of, we go, then there's ground fighting. There's a lot of fighting from sitting in a chair. Okay? Then we do a drill. One of the drills we do is we have a line. And one person's here. And you come up and grab me from the rear. Okay? So I do my technique. Now he goes to the back of the You go to the back. And then the next guy comes up and grabs you on a different attack. So this way, different size people are grabbing. And you're working on your reactions. Right? Then we do another drill where you're in the middle. Okay? Yeah, there's eight possible directions of attack. So we do this and we normally have enough students. You guys always have enough students. Right? <laughs> do we have it? Right? So, we look back at it a little bit, right? So, we have another person here, because it's there's four sides. One, two, three, four, and the four corners. Two, three, four. Okay? So it would be all eight directions would be covered. The instructor who's ever on the class is out here, right? And he goes like this. He looks at you and goes like that. You go in, you attack him from the side. Right, whatever, that's fine. You do your counter, right? You step back out, right? No, you don't turn. What are you, psychic? <clears throat> right, you have to deal with the unexpected attack from the rear. Now, this is one, this, so this is called the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the circle. Circle, self-defense circle. This is also part of my black belt test. So if you're testing for black belt in my school, you're doing this in the middle, you're in the middle at least three rounds. So that means everyone's attacking you three times, and one guy's got a knife, and one guy's got a gun. And then what they do is, as the guy, you do the gun technique, then as the guy walks back, he hands it to him. And now you don't even know that he's got it. So they're sneaky, they pass off the weapons, you don't even know who has it, right? Okay. So, this is the one at time when I'll do this one, right? Where I'll go like this, right? What are you looking at? You should be looking straight ahead, right? So I go, right. So see, now you have to deal with two guys, okay? So, right, okay? So, do you understand why I'm able to fight the way I'm able to fight? Do you understand why my students are able to fight the way they fight? because of training wheels like this, okay? It's great to do kata all the time, it's great to do basics, it's great to do single stuff. You have to have someone, you have to develop the confidence that when I come in with a full power punch, you're confident you can block it, okay? So, so on, these, on this particular drill, right? So a couple of things that's not allowed, all right? And you see kids, little kids do this all the time. So, Jimmy's behind you, right? So the guy behind you comes in and does this. Yeah. <laughs> Punches you in the back of the head. So totally stupid. You can't see it. So from the rear, it's always attacks. Could be a bear hug, right? Could be this. Could be a push from the rear. Could be a push from the rear. Could be, right, turn around, right? Could be a guy who runs like this, right? So, so it should be things, you should be works from the angle. So now if I'm, if I'm attacking this way, like you came in with a punch, which is fine, right? But now also, right, I can come in and what? I can come in and grab you with the bear hug from the side. That's different, right? I can come up and grab your hand from the side. You can see what I'm saying? So when you come in on this angle, right, you want to do something that makes sense on the angle. So you don't want to do this. <laughs> because that's the front guy's job. So the whole idea is, is to learn to fight in multiple directions. Okay, so 
So like, it could be something simple, right? I just put, you gotta get to do something with that. So you understand? She can be at me, you finish the attack. No, well, with the kids in the beginning, the best thing to do is let the person finish the attack. But what you'll find is, as they get better and better, right? Like, let, let's say I'm in the middle, right? You come in to grab my lapels, right? You never grab me my lapels, unless I let you grab me, right? So, you know, same thing, you go to grab my wrist, right? 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 So, in the beginning, you have to, until you get the techniques, yeah, you let the guy grab. Now you go, here, right? But now, right, same thing, he goes to grab my throat, right? <laughs> so, so, again, level of ability, you can work different things. So you went to bring, I hit you with the bail hole thing the other day, right? Right, same thing. So you understand what I'm saying? In the beginning, let the guy grab you because you want to know that if the guy really grabs you, you can get out. The one technique you gotta be careful of is the full Nelson. Yeah, because you, you wanna work against it with power, but make sure the guy doesn't do it and so, you so get your neck hurt. So you understand? You understand? So you, you want to do it with power, but in the beginning, don't press down so hard because you'll hurt each other's neck. Okay? So, so again, you know, this is the second year I came. We did a bunch of kogudo. We did, I'm going over some more training drills. We reviewed koteki tai. But again, if you only do koteki tai once a month, it's not going to help. You got to do it once or twice a week. Okay? You should not do it with the little kids. It should be 12 year olds and up for Kotegi time. All right? And so, so you, can, you can shut that off if you want.